Hello everybody, this is CL and today we are going to give some information regarding AI and show you how to make a simple AI assistant. AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. This intelligence is demonstrated by machines unlike the natural intelligence displayed by humans and animals which involves consciousness, emotionality. In other words, the term artificial intelligence is often used to describe machines that mimic analytic functions that humans associate with human mind, such as learning and problem solving. AI is helpful in many ways and is utilized in daily life nowadays. It is mostly used in It takes the input and provides the users with a suitable answer. One of the examples is Google. Google is used for translations and for providing information to users. Researchers are using AI for analyzing data and for the development of a lot of things. For example, it is used to analyze large quantities of health data and discover patterns that could lead to discoveries in medicine and ways to improve individual diagnostics. Cybersecurity and Disinformation AI systems can recognize and help in fighting cyber attacks, cyber threats, fake news and disinformation, which can help the community a lot. AI helps manufacturers become more efficient in manufacturing, optimizing sales paths, on-time prediction of maintenance and etc. Food and farming. AI can be used in creating a sustainable food system. It can be, it can ensure healthier food by minimizing the use of fertilizers, pesticides, and help in irrigation, productivity, and reduce the environmental impact. Since AI is advanced and can be developed and improved, it is used in a lot of things. We can use AI for betterment of society if we have a positive impact on it. These days, AI is being trained and used to take over tasks, especially dangerous tasks and jobs of humans. But if we use AI to harm society and cause chaos, it will be a harsh impact on society. So guys, now I'm going to show you how to make an AI in Python. So Python is a programming language which is free and easy to be used. So everybody can uh, learn uh, Python and it is so easy that uh, you can make program just within seconds. And uh, the ID I'm using now is PyCharm. So you can download PyCharm now or you can use the IDLE which is an integrated uh, ID, I think from uh, Python. Yes, I have downloaded a uh, Python. So now I have imported uh, the mod packages and modules I, which I needed. So I imported speech recognition. So, and uh, this is a uh, PyTTSX3, date time, Wikipedia, web browser, world frame alpha and time. So I I will uh, try not to forget uh, to keep all the pip commands in the description so that you can install all these uh, modules. But I think so, uh, some of the modules will be coming with the Python. So the uh, pip uh, 
commands will not be in the description so now let's get started first we need to make an uh, engine which is pi ttsx3 so we are going to create a new variable which is engine and we are, it is going to be pi ttsx3 dot in it and here we are going to keep sepi5 so pi tt sx3 is uh, nothing but it's a uh, module which uh, takes uh, voices from the registry of uh, i don't know windows i i i i am on windows so i know it works on windows but i don't know if it works on mac mac and uh, linux but you guys are uh, free to test it out and uh, send it to me in the comment section so it will take the voices from the registry and uh, use it uh, as a uh, text to speech version for python oops yes and now we are going to create a variable called voices so we are going to do engine dot get property and here we are going to get voices from the registries so we want to uh, know what voices are there so we are going to print the voices yes voices so now let's print so as you can see it has given us the voices so the only known uh, voices i have used is uh, the male and female voice so we are going to take out uh, this print function and we are going to keep engine dot set property not get property but this is set property which is going to be voice and voice voices uh, the voice id so i am going to keep voice says and uh, here i am going to keep the id 0 so what is 0 id 0 refers to the male voice whereas id 1 refers to the female voice so you can change it here 1 or 0 okay now we have created a voice for our module so we want our module to talk so we are going to create the speak function this is to define a function called speak which allows the ai to speak so we are going to define the speak function speak and here in the brackets we are going to keep the variable text text is nothing but uh, when we use the speak uh, function like here speak here uh, we will keep some text as uh, uh, suppose hi so it will uh, read the text inside here and uh, it will say hi so we want it to read and it tell the words which are in this brackets so what we are going to do is engine dot say here i am going to set a text and we are going to make it a uh, wait after saying engine dot run and wait oops run and wait so it's going to uh, tell out it's it is going to speak out the text which is in the brackets and the engine is going to run and wait which is it will speak and it will wait okay now we have defined a speak function but uh, we are going to keep another function which is one second wish me Oops. So this function is going to wish us whenever the AI starts. So I'm going to keep the brackets here. So we want this function to wish us. Uh, suppose uh, when uh, greeting uh, somebody, you go, "Hey, good morning" or "Good afternoon," "Good evening." 
yeah suppose so we are going to make uh, this ai wishes for uh, wish, wishes according to the time like good morning when it is morning good afternoon when it is afternoon and good evening when it is evening so if so we are going to define a variable hour which is going to be taken from the date time module date time dot date time dot now dot hour so this is going to be the hour which is now the current hour which is running so if we go well if hour greater than 0 and hour less than 12 so this is going to be morning so one second yeah speak good morning user so uh, we are going to keep a user because you i'm not specifying uh, somebody as male and female here no? print I'm going to print again. This time I'm going to keep the same thing. Good morning user. So we want to wish uh, good afternoon when it is afternoon. So we are going to keep LF. Hour is greater than 12. And hour is lesser than 18 it is going to be afternoon so we are going to keep the same thing I am going to copy this and here we are going to keep good afternoon user afternoon user and same goes for here Okay now, so if it is none of these, good morning or afternoon, we are going to keep else and we are going to wish the user good evening. So we are going to do the same thing here and in instead of morning we are going to keep here evening. Okay. So now we have done a wish me function. Now we have we have to define a function known as take command. So this uh, function is going to take uh, the command uh, from us and give us the answer. Suppose we will ask, "Hey AI, can you hear me?" It is going to take in the command like uh, it is going to take in the command uh, known as "Can you hear me?" and it is going to tell yes. So we are going to keep define take command and close brackets. So now we are going to do r is equal to sr dot recognizer. So sr is nothing but uh, speech recognition. So I have imported speech recognition as SR. So uh, watch. So remember this, and uh, don't blame me for uh, the mistake I done. So I'm going to keep uh, this with SR dot microphone as source. So what we are going to do is we will define our microphone as source because it is a source of voice now here. So we are going to print out listening. Dot dot dot. And we are going to give out some uh, space.
okay and we are going to define a variable known as audio which is going to be r dot listen and here it is going to be source we are going so the ai is going to listen to the uh, source which is the microphone so it is uh, going to listen uh, our microphone or the audio coming from the microphone it is going to recognize what it is or what we are trying to say and it will understand so we are going to do try and we are going to make a variable known as statement and this is going to be r dot recognize underscore google and here we are going to keep audio and comma and i am going to keep language and the language here is uh, the language you speak i am going to keep english indian I think if you go to the speech recognition module, uh, you will be able uh, to find uh, the languages which are uh, there, and according to that, uh, you can uh, keep uh, which language you speak. So now I'm going to print out uh, what the user said. So we'll know what uh, we have said. So you're going to keep user said. And uh, this is a string, so what uh, we are going to do is we are going to keep uh, this curly brackets. We'll keep uh, the variable statement here, and we are going to make a new line. So now we need an exception. So there will be an error. So we have to ignore that. So we'll keep except exception as e. So you are going to take this exception as e. So what if uh, the AI cannot understand what we have said? So it will give out an error. This is the exception error. So we don't want this to come and uh, making the program crash. So what we are going to do is accept exception as e. We are going to do speak and we are doing going to do pardon me. Pardon me. So what it is going to do is it is going to like tell pardon me, please say that again. It is going to ask us to tell that again, and we are going to return none. So we are going to return none. Make sure I didn't uh, give double space. And we are going to return the statement. Okay, now that uh, this is done, we are going to do wish me function so it uh, wishes us first so now here starts the command part so we are going to take uh, the main code here which is going to be if name is equal to main so we can define this as a main code Oops. So I'm going to go here, and this is how it works. So now uh, this function, in this function, function uh, we are going to give a list of commands which are registered. So that the AI can answer accordingly. So if a, a command is not known, it will not answer. So now we are going to make an infinite loop 
it is going to be while true and statement is going to be zero oops we need to define other statement statement is going to be take command dot lower so now here we are going to keep f the statement is equal to zero we are going to continue so now here comes a part where our commands come in so our first command is can you hear me so if we don't know if the ai can hear us or we don't we are uh, knowing uh, we need to know if the ai can hear us so what we are going to keep is lf can you hear me no question marks or anything full stops if you want you can keep uh, but i find it a problem to you uh, problematic to use so what i'm going to keep is can you hear me or you can keep uh, can you hear me i so that uh, when you're talking to other person it uh, doesn't answer in statement so what uh, we are telling the ai to do is if can you hear me a uh, sentence or uh, words come in uh, this uh, the statement which is uh, what we are speaking we want it to do a function a function or something so you need to do speak yes user oops or like yes 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 user or a uh, yes user i can hear you so that's it and we are taking the time function and we wanted uh, to take some time time dot sleep for the other function so here uh, in the time dot sleep you are you have to enter the second so which the ai can wait to uh, take in another command from you so i find it easier uh, so that it will not annoy me every time i speak so now uh, we will know if the ai can hear us but now we are going to take an uh, a real function so here we will ask the ai for information or question suppose um who is the president of you know like something like that who is a person like who is mahatma gandhi or who is uh, obama someone like that so what we are going to do is taking L lf and uh, we are going to it is going to recognize the word wikipedia in statement so if it finds the word wikipedia in the statement what it is going to do is the question we ask uh, it will replace replace the word wikipedia take in the question uh, to wikipedia module which we have imported and what it will do is for search for the answer and it give you the perfect answer, uh, result so we are going to do speak searching wiki so we are going to keep statement which is going to be we are going to replace something in the statement in wikipedia so let's ask who is the president of america or india in wikipedia so it will take in who is the president part and it is going to leave in wiki in wikipedia part in wiki p 
clear so we are going to give out a comma and we are going to give double quotes and here we are going to take the variable results so results is nothing but uh, the answer taken from the wikipedia so we are going to take wikipedia dot summary which is statement and sentences oops sorry sentences so now from wikipedia you can take how many sentences you want i would like to take three sentences which is going to give you three sentences uh, of summary from wikipedia if you want you can change the number uh, to more so you are going to speak according according to the wiki we are going to print out the results first so that we can read it until i tells and we are going to keep here results so it will print out the results and i tell the results so that you can understand in the both ways and we are going to give out some space and yeah that's it so we have given a function to this ai to answer questions from wikipedia but uh, we want to open a website suppose you wanted to ask it open youtube or open gmail so what you are going to do is we are going to use the web browser function i mean uh, web browser module so we are going to take in the elf and we are going to do open youtube so that's it if it uh, sees open youtube sentence so yeah, how this uh, works a statement i forgot to tell you so you will uh, see the speech recognition the speech recognition is module but at speech to te uh, text so it is going to take in the speech and convert it to text i forgot to tell you that but so when we speak it is going to take it as a text so when it finds the text open youtube we want it to uh, do this need to add this so we need to keep web browser dot open new tab in that you are going to keep the youtube link so let's go to incognito mode so we are going to search for the youtube and here we are going to paste the youtube url so it works okay now so we will uh, want to speak o youtube is open now so that uh, we can know youtube is open now so we will go here cut out that space yes we wanted to sleep for uh, we wanted to wait for some time we are going to keep time dot sleep we are going to take it 5 seconds and we are going to leave out some space yeah same goes uh, for google so i'm going to keep the same function here i'm going to copy this function i'm going to paste it here and here i'm going to keep open google and i'm going to google and search for google go to the google website copy the url and paste it here instead of the youtube url and we are going to speak 
Google is open now. So we wanted to wait for some time and print uh, give out some space. Oops. So now uh, we can open uh, some websites from the AI quickly. So now uh, when we want to ask time, suppose AI open, is open and if you're too lazy to get the mouse and uh, hover it down into the taskbar and see the time, yeah. Even I'm a lazy fellow as that. So what I'm going to do is ask the AI the time. So we are going to go LS. What is the time now? In statement. So when it finds what is the time now in the statement, it is going to give us the time. So we are going to keep string time. So we are going to keep date time dot date time dot now. And we are going to keep strf time. Here we are going to give a what to tell. So we are going to give percentage h which is the hour percentage m which is the minutes and percentage s which is going to be the seconds you can take out the percentages but i would like to keep it so i'm going to uh, do speak and the text here is going to be f string the time is and some curly brackets we're going to keep str time the variable user so and uh, we wanted to print out the time so we are going to keep the print f function again time oops and then curly brackets str time we wanted to give out some space Okay then, so now we can ask it uh, what is the time or open websites and uh, some question in Wikipedia. But what if we want to ask it some kind of math question, computational questions or geographical questions. So here comes the Wolfram Alpha module. So what we are going to do is, we are going to take some space and we are going to do LF may I ask you a question we'll ask this question to it in statement so when it finds this it will do will speak out I can answer only computation you can keep this if you want and geographical questions and what do you want and question do you want to ask now so we will make it speak this so after it speaks this uh, we are going to uh, tell the question so this time it is going to take in the question so we are going to keep a variable known as question is going to be take command so after this we are going to keep app id 
so app id is uh, nothing but a you, you you have you need to have an unique I, app id from uh, wolfram alpha so should go to wolfram alpha go to this yes i have mine so i will uh, you have to sign in so i have already signed in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go my apps so after i go to my apps here is uh, the one i already made for my previous ai but now i'm going to make another so we are going to do get an app id so we are going to keep application name we are going i'm going to keep it uh, python ai tutorial and here just for yt tutorial so i'm going to get the app id and here it will uh, keep it will uh, send you the app id and uh, this uh, should be personal do not send it to anybody else i am uh, showing you because i'm uh, later i'm going to delete this uh, uh, app uh, this uh, app id after the video so this is just for uh, some testing purposes now i'm going to keep this app id so it is going to uh, go to the app id so this uh, app is going to help uh, this ai answer questions so i'm going to go to the i'm going to create a client variable and we'll call we'll call it wolfram alpha dot client and here we are going to give out the app id so it is going to take in the app id and it is going to use it so we are going to keep the result so i'm going to use another uh, rest variable because i have already used the results variable for wikipedia so if we use the same variable here it is going to crash or uh, it will have some problems so so i'm going to keep client dot query and here we'll keep question which is going to be the question which we ask and uh, it will and uh, we need another variable which is going to be answer and uh, here the answer will be next res dot results dot uh, results dot text so we need it to, uh, to speak out the answers don't need to any dancers print answer so now it is going to print the answers and it is going to tell answers that so we are basically done with uh, all that part but now uh, when somebody comes like you have done this project and uh, your annoying uh, brother or sister comes into the room and ask what is this thing and they are ha the ai has to tell something uh, to your uh, brother and sister so that they will be impressed and uh, see that you are a man of ama uh, amazement in the the field of python language and those kind of things so now we are going to create a function which is going to be ls and we are going to do who are you in statement so when we ask who are you we wanted to speak out the credentials so it is going to tell i am a, i want to name my ai as something unique so i am going to call it pi ai cl yeah it's a pretty good name i hope so pi ai cl version 1.0 or 
I'm going to give O. And intelligent or an amazing AI. So we should keep this so that uh, your brother and sister would know uh, what is this thing and uh, how it is an amazing AI. So they will test it out. So we need to give out some space here. So now when they ask uh, who is this uh, when they ask who is this guy they also want to know the creator and they they would uh, be amazed to know that was he so what you are going to keep is lf who are you in statement and i'm going to copy this thing and we are going to give out a multiple statements like or and uh, here we are going to keep uh, created one second we have already done who are you we are going to keep who made you who created you or who discovered you in the statement so when it finds this it is going to answer your brother and sister who are always, always naughty and i don't know so i'm going to keep i was built by and give out uh, your name so i'm going to give a uh, cl uh, just see yeah that's amazing so i'm going to print out the same thing I was built by C. I'm going to print out uh, some space and that's it. So now we want to shut down our AI or we want to close the AI. So when you run it and uh, you press that red button or you're going to stop it uh, from the terminal then it would uh, cause some problems it may crash or it will cause some problems to the computer so we want uh, so we want to tell like uh, something like okay bye ai or bye bye by aicl or something like quit okay bye something like that so now we are going to keep lf function so we are going to keep ok by in statement or Quit in statement. We want the AI to close or uh, to escape this while loop. So we're, we want it to speak on the text by user. By I'm not going to give the name, I'm just going to give by user. I am. Shutting down now. So that's interesting. So let's say goodbye. So we want to test uh, time dot sleep. So we want to make it like it is really shutting down and taking some time. And we are going to print out some uh, space. And we are going to break the while loop. Break. So that's pretty much it.
and I have uh, some error so let's see what is the error here oh that's an error and the hell okay I have heard on this so now that's pretty much it um, and if you want uh, this code it will be in the discord uh, section uh, so join my discord server it, uh, the links will be down in the description below so join my discord server uh, and uh, find the tab in the text channels or chat there will be a text channel for downloads and links and I will keep a download uh, for this AI so that's pretty much it and you can add uh, some functions and you can import uh, other modules like random and uh, when you don't have a die in your house we can uh, ask the AI uh, roll a random number and it is going to tell you a random number so you can use AI instead of a die which would be stupid but amazing yeah you can do stuff like that and I hope you guys enjoyed well I will see you guys next time with an interesting video so please subscribe uh, like this video and share to others so that they can understand uh, what and how an AI works and uh, they would uh, learn something new and yeah bye